how to find and delete viruses on iPhone. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different steps that will hopefully help you find and delete viruses on your iPhone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So before we get started, it's important to note that it's very rare to get a virus on your iPhone, but we can go through some steps that will remove any malicious apps or different things on our iPhone and remove those viruses. And check the description. I'll be linking to an article that goes over some recommendations from the NSA to ensure you don't have viruses on your iPhone. The first thing I would recommend is actually from that article, and it is to simply reboot your iPhone. They recommend doing it weekly, but if you suspect that you have a virus on your iPhone, reboot your iPhone, and that will clear it out of the iPhone memory. You could do that by simply holding down the power button on the right and the volume up button, and then swiping to turn it off, and then you just need to turn it back on. Once you've rebooted your iPhone, what I would recommend doing is simply swipe up from the bottom of your iPhone screen until you see the apps that are currently open and swipe those away. Close those apps because that will prevent any malicious apps from running in the background on your iPhone and potentially harvesting data. The next thing we can do to find and delete any viruses or malicious apps is to simply from the home screen, swipe from right to left until we get to the app library and look through the list of apps you have on your iPhone and remove anything that maybe you don't use or you don't remember installing. If you find any apps like that, simply long press the icon of that app and select delete app. Then confirm you want to uninstall that app by selecting delete one more time, and then it will be removed from your iPhone. Now that we've checked all the apps installed on our iPhone to see if there's anything malicious there or that we don't recognize, the next thing I would recommend doing is to check and see if there are any calendar accounts that have been added to our iPhone. This can cause pop-ups from our iPhone that could have malicious links that we could accidentally click. So to do that, simply open the settings on your iPhone, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select apps. At the top, just search calendar and select calendar. From here, we just want to select calendar accounts at the top. And then if you see subscribed calendars, select that. And you just want to see if there's anything in here that maybe you didn't install or you don't want, go ahead and select it and then select delete account. Confirm you want to delete that account and then go back and that will be removed from the accounts installed on your calendar and you will no longer get any pop-ups or anything from that account that was installed. The next thing I would recommend doing is going back to the list of apps and you just want to search Safari. Once Safari comes up, select it. And what we're going to do is make sure that there are no malicious extensions installed on our Safari browser because these extensions can have access to everything that we browse in the browser. So find extensions under general. And then if you see any extensions that you don't want to have or you don't remember installing, just select them and make sure that where it says allowed extensions, that that is turned off. This will stop that extension from having access to your browser. Now, the last thing I would recommend doing to find and delete viruses on your iPhone is to simply make sure you have the latest version of iOS installed on your iPhone. So to do that, go back to the main settings page right here, the top where it says settings, then scroll down and just select general. And from there, select software update. If there's any update available, go ahead and install that. But if it says iOS is up to date, that means you have the latest security patches from Apple, which makes your iPhone much safer. So those are some steps to hopefully find and delete viruses or malicious apps on your iPhone. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.